What's going on Beast? It's Midi here and today I've got uh, another tutorial here on uh, Cinema 4D and today I'll be just basically showing you is how to create your own shapes and how to use splines on Cinema 4D. Um, as I said on previous video that um, I think two videos ago I think yeah this when this is uploaded two videos ago that I have an upload schedule I said that I do underrated designers of the week, but if you follow me on Twitter, I said that I'm just gonna ditch it because I didn't get the as much entries as I needed or wanted. Not nah, needed, yeah, needed to start doing it. So maybe future reference, I will. I don't know. We'll just see how it all comes. And if you want, guys, just please comment down below of what. You'd like to see replace that if you want to see more prank videos or well, whatever you guys want. Without further ado, we'll just get into the video right now. Alright, so first off, you've got a variety of tools here, but to create your own ones, you, you're gonna really want to use um, Lini. This this one uh, I use most out of all of them, and then you just want to change your camera camera view and go to front. You'll see over there. And then you just want to go back over here, make sure all of this is all done, checked, and you just click away until you've got something pretty cool. Oh, I might do it from here. Oh, phone's vibrating. Sorry about that. And you just click there. Once you've got that, then you just start another one from there. I'm just doing this for an example. If you ever if you ever get off um, where you want it, you could always just move it until it's straightened until you're happy with it like that. So I, I've just created a small shape there for myself. It doesn't have to be perfect. You won't see that first, but um, when you just start adding your extrude, you just drop it in. Oh. Then you go from here, move it, whoops, bring it down. Then you're gonna wanna move it back. Is it this one? Yep. We'll actually make it smaller. Like so. So I've just created my own shape. After that, you can just mess around with how the extrude you want it to be, the caps. I like to just, with my shapes, I like to put fillet cap on and just make it maybe two. If not, we'll just see how it is and just make it look like that. Bit of 3D sort of effect, like so. So you've got that, that's how you make your own. Um, but if you want to get into a bit more of detail or creativity, um, just go back here, front. Always do front, I recommend always doing front because um, when you do it on here, it's always crooked and all that and you don't really understand where you're going and you've got to move it around. If not, you I recommend just doing it here. So you just want to grab, go over here, Rectangle, you can do this with all of them, but I'm just using this as an example. I'm just going to make it smaller, just put it in the middle, and then you want to grab a circle, make that smaller, come over here, put it in the middle, come down. And then you want to go to, oops, wrong one, spline mask, just select the two and drag them in. Then um, you can see you've created a shape over here. I'll just grab the extrude like that, move it down, and I've created my own shape. If you, if you want to mess around with a bit more, oops, wrong one, go to spline mask and you can just always change. How you want it. 
with most of my designs I like to do it like this I might make um, the circle a bit more bigger you can always just move it around make it like that pretty useful useful um, tool to use so that's basically it I might just show uh, yeah I'll, I'll just quickly do it with other shapes like this you can always use to mess around with to make your job easier with squares triangles or whatnot circles I wouldn't really recommend using this for circles and then um whoops wrong one oh tripping extrude simple just like everything else make it bigger or fill a cap it oops like so it's just really to what you like and all that I just thought this would be a helpful tutorial to do so if you guys did enjoy this or if it did help you please like comment subscribe share it with your friends and if you haven't already please follow me on twitter at smitty creates uh, getting pretty close to 5k about 800 off well I'd say 4.5k I'm a bit think 300 off if not 15 or so followers I don't know it's a couple away so please follow me on uh, twitter and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Fuck that little mouse, cause Iridos Clytus. <laughs>